my name is Bruce Needham. I am a partner at uh, Kunzler IP, and today I'm going to talk about uh, the various types of patent applications. There are three types of patent applications. There are utility applications, design applications, and plant applications. Um, the utility, uh, utility patents are all about the process, the machine, the apparatus, the if you come up with some new widget, uh, that you know, it's all about the functionality. It's all about how it works, how the process, if you have some process for manufacturing, the steps in that process, you have some software, it's kind of the how it, how it functions, that kind of thing. A design patent is very different. A design patent is all about the look. And it's only, it only covers the non-functional elements. And so you can actually have a, a utility application and a design application on the same thing. Okay, now a plant uh, patent is all about uh, like genetic mutations of plants, and it's a kind of a tiny area of the patent uh, in the patent world. By far, the most common is the utility application. That's what most people think of when they think of a patent application. Uh, the design patents uh, are. Um, not as common, but they are very common. A lot of people file design applications. Okay, so what, number one uh, criteria for all of them is that they have to, the concept that you're patenting has to be novel. You have to be the first person in the world to in, have invented this. And so if, it's, if you've invented some new function, some, something like that, then you go for a utility application if you've designed a new look of something, uh, some piece of furniture or, or even uh, some article of clothing or whatever, then you can get a patent on that design. And then, uh, and so I'm only really going to focus on uh, uh, utility and design applications today. And so for an example, um, let's say that, let's take a tennis shoe. A tennis shoe is a good candidate for both utility and design patents. So let's say that you've come up with some new function, some new thing. Uh, a good example is uh, Nike came out with this air bladder kind of in the heel area. I, um, that would be a good candidate if they're the first t people to come up with that. That would be a good candidate for a utility application and that patent application would cover the utility, the functionality and how that works. Uh, at, on the same, at the same time, the, all of the striping and the colors and the uh, different uh, ways that, that that shoe look, the things that are not functional, that could also that could be covered under a design patent. So you could have two patents on the same thing, and they would be very mutually exclusive because the design patent could only cover non-functional elements. Now, uh, there's also a difference in the the patent term. For a utility application, you get 20 years from the date of filing. And for a design uh, patent, you get 14 years. So a good candidate for a design patent is something that you think is going to be around for a while. Maybe, uh, you know, women's fashion, um, you know, clothing, that kind of thing is probably not a good candidate for a design patent because it, in, you know, a matter of six months, it might come and go. And, and so that might not be a good candidate but for something that you think it has some uh, longevity to the de design and the people might want that for a while, that would be a good uh, choice for a design patent. So now with the utility application, you can file what's called a provisional patent. And a provisional is kind of a placeholder. There's less rules and things that uh, uh, govern those. And essentially, you just file it. and then it sits in the patent office for a year and nothing happens. And then you have to come back later and file the full-blown utility application. Uh, we don't have that for the uh, design patents. It's only for the utility application. Now, the, the processing time is quite lengthy for patents. So for a utility application, it can be uh, anywhere from uh, a year and a half to three years from the time that the utility application enters the system until you have your patent. It could be even longer. Um, 
And so depending, you know, that, that might be the time to the first office action, to the first time that the patent office responds. And then we have to go back and forth with the patent office a few times. Uh, design patents uh, the, um, tend to go quite a bit quicker, but it still is going to take you at least a year, uh, typically, for a design patent. And so that's something to consider, especially when you're considering whether or not to file a design patent or not. That um, if you have something that's very transient in nature as far as the design, and then you know that lengthy period before you even get protection is something to take into consideration. Um, now, as far as uh, you know, filing, they all have to be filed at uh, the USPTO.gov. Um, but just a word of caution is that uh, um, they may seem simple. You know, you may be able to read through a patent application and think, oh, I can do that. But the, not all patents are created equal. There are many things in, in a patent that, uh, that, you know, the process for learning how to create a good, solid patent that will give you protection is, is somewhat of an apprenticeship. And patent attorneys, spend a long time figuring out how to properly craft claims, how to write in such a way that it's broad and that gives you a lot of good coverage so that it makes the patent very useful. Uh, there's, there's a lot of times people will file a provisional patent and think they've got uh, patent pending and, and really it might not hold up in court very well. Or you might get through the whole process and have a patent and, and you might find out that it's very uh, limited because it might be narrow. So it's something that, uh, it's one field in intellectual property where I would highly recommend seeking a qualified uh, patent attorney to uh, help you file your patent, and whether that be a utility patent or a design patent. And the cost is, it's, they're not, patents are not cheap. So a utility application is going to run somewhere in the $5,000 to $20,000 range, and that um, now, if you do a provisional and, a, and then follow that up with a non-provisional application, um, you may be able to save a little bit of cost up front, but then you'll uh, pay for that, uh, pay the rest on the back end within a year. Uh, design patents are going to cost somewhere in the range of 2000 to 5000 and Of course, these prices depend on where you go. Uh, big city, big uh, law firm prices can be quite a bit... Uh, you know, they're kind of more at the top end of the range. So that's uh, some basic facts and basic things about uh, uh, the various types of patent applications.